Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Remember that 2022 Chevy Spark Active video I did a few months ago? Well, I kind of lied in saying that was maybe the last Spark we would get brand new from the factory because there's another 2022 sitting behind me right here. So let's not waste any more time and take a look at the Spark behind me. So if you guys are new to the channel, I made a video on a 2022 Chevy Spark Active trim level just a few months ago saying that might be the last brand new Spark we would get from the factory. However, they are still arriving on dealership lots as I have a 1LT manual transmission sitting in front of me today. So this is not the only video I'm going to be making with this particular vehicle. If you wanna learn how to drive a manual transmission uh, from me, make sure to check out that video when it comes out here on the channel. But the car in front of us, like I said, is a 1LT trim level, which is one step up from the base LS Spark. And again, I'm sad to see this class of subcompact vehicles shrinking. We have the Chevy Spark going away, the Hyundai Accent going away for 2023. Uh, so these are the last remaining vehicles coming into dealerships. And again, I think these are great values, great entry level vehicles, maybe for the first time uh, buyer or the first time driver. And I don't think we will see these much in the future in terms of the cost equivalents. So the Spark in front of us is finished in the mosaic black exterior. And you can see it's kind of a two-tone look. And that is because this particular Spark is optioned with the special edition paint appearance package. This gives you the white roof, the white mirror caps, the special wheels, I do believe, and some of the white trim on the front and rear bumpers. So that is what that special edition encompasses, but that is the only option package on this 1LT. And like I said, this is one step up from the base LS Spark, and this gives you the power windows, mirrors, uh, projector headlights, a few other things, the power tailgate release, a bunch of nice equipment that to me is a must have on a vehicle like this. But obviously, if you want a bare bone Spark, you can opt for that LS trim level. So starting up front of the 1LT Spark, you can see this one is the black. Like I said, you get the projector halogen headlights with the 1LT and up. LED daytime running lights lower on the bumper with your turn signals. Some of that white trim that I mentioned is part of that special package. You have the black bow ties as well. Very attractive front end for this class of vehicle. And again, for the price point it comes in at, these are the 15 inch alloy wheels, kind of a machine black finish as part of that special edition package. They're riding on Kumo Solus TA31 tires and 185, 55, 15 inch. So a nice solid all season tire and a very small tire at that. The mirror caps are white painted along with the roof, like I mentioned, part of that appearance package. And I think the mirrors might be heated on this trim level. If not, you might have to step up to the 2LT to get that. You have remote unlock and lock with this vehicle with the body color accents. Won't take much to get around this vehicle because it is so small once again. Outback full incandescent taillights with turn signals and reverse bulbs. Black bow tie, you have your LT badge because this is an LT. Backup camera, and like I said, you do get the power unlock feature, which on the LS, you have to use the key every time you wanna unlock the hatch. So you do get the button there on the one LT and higher. Not much to see here. You have the gas door on the passenger side. I guess we'll go ahead and take a look at the window sticker actually really quick. You can get every trim of the Spark in either a CVT or a five-speed manual, I do believe. So this one has cruise control, remote keyless entry, seven inch color touchscreen, wired Android Auto, wired Apple CarPlay, USB input, Sirius XM is part of the 1LT package. Uh, power windows, like I said, the power release for the tailgate. Automatic headlight control, LED daytime running lights up front. Uh, they have mirrors are heated, like I mentioned, they're manual folding, and then of course you have your backup camera. And that special edition gives you the black front bezel around the grill, the 15 inch wheels, summit white two-tone roof and mirrors, the black bow ties, as well as the black grill, like I mentioned, for a total MSRP of $17,090 after destination. So a very affordable price point. And like I said, when we transition into EVs or hybrids or however the future comes, I just don't see cars being offered at this low of a price point here in the very near future. But stepping inside, you're not gonna find very much on the Spark. It is a pretty basic vehicle, but you do have power windows, mirrors, and locks, some black accents, hard touch door panel, but you do have a soft touch armrest right here on this particular portion, storage down below, six way manual driver's seat with height adjustment, and that two tone look on the interior of it. Automatic headlights, there's your gauge illumination, traction control off. There's the dashboard, it's gonna be mostly hard touch with that black accent. You can see, this is the five speed manual, save the manuals. 
almost fully analog gauge cluster. We do have a small, I think it's a 3.5 inch monochromatic display. Has your odometer, your trip information, control some of the other things from this menu on the stock over here. Oil life, TPMS for each tire, just a bunch of random stuff that you can go through on the menu. Urethane steering wheel, cruise control on the left side, audio controls on the right side. So it's nice to have steering wheel controls in general. Like I said, turn signals, manual high beams, manual wipers, not really much to expect on this Spark. Seven inch color touchscreen, like I said, AM, FM, USB, Sirius XM, wired Android Auto, wired Apple CarPlay. Do have Wi-Fi hotspot built in via 4G LTE. That's cool. OnStar connectivity, pretty bare bones stuff. Single zone manual climate control, some cup holders and storage, USB inputs, both USB-A and USB-C, 12 volt outlet. Five speed manual, yes, save the manual once again. Manual e-brake, some more cup holders back there. A Little bit of extra storage above the glove box. Glove box is not damped, nor is there lighting inside. Light colored headliner. Manual dimming rear view mirror. Here's your OnStar buttons up top with your passenger airbag status light and incandescent illumination. So yeah, not much to see up front and I guarantee that's gonna fall through to the back as well. After all, this is a very subcompact and affordable vehicle. So not many amenities should be expected. Power window control, but all otherwise hard touch door panel. And surprisingly, for the size of this vehicle, there's a decent amount of rear seat legroom and headroom. Obviously, because it's a hatchback, there should be a good amount of headroom. But the legroom is actually decent for what it is. One map pocket on the back of the passenger seat. Here's your armrest for the driver only. Cup holder, this is a four seat only vehicle. The seats do fold down 60-40 split. But otherwise, not much to see back here. No center armrest, nothing like that. Decent amount of headroom, like I said, for the size of vehicle. Coming to the back, one thing I would definitely get is the 1LT for that power release function for the hatch. I would get annoyed getting the key out every time I wanted to open the hatch. Uh, but that is one thing I like about this trim level. Storage space, very small, but very usable nonetheless. Little privacy cover here. Looks like you have floor mats as part of this particular vehicle. A little light on the left side. But yeah, very tiny. You can reach halfway into the back seat from here. But again, a good opening. And if you fold the seats down, a pretty practical car if you don't need a ton of space or anything. The hatchbacks are always gonna be a little bit more practical than something like a sedan of this size. There's my camera. I was doing some filming for that manual transmission video. Four-way manual passenger seat. Not much to see here. Once again, I already showed the glove box and everything. The paint match interior is a nice extra touch. I don't know if that's uh, as far as the body color goes or if that's just all black accent on every Spark, but it is nice to see that at least. So under the hood of every Chevy Spark, you're gonna find the same 1.4 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine. This puts out 98 horsepower and 94 pound feet of torque through only the front wheels. And like I said, it offers a CVT automatic or a five-speed manual transmission, I believe, in every single trim level. So if you want an LS with a CVT, you can get that. If you want an LS with a five-speed, if you want a 2LT, you can get that in the manual transmission as well. That's one thing I do like about the Spark. But overall, a pretty fuel-efficient engine, not the most fuel-efficient out there, uh, but definitely is enough power for how light this vehicle is and definitely zips around town without much issue. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video on this 2022 Chevy Spark 1LT with the five-speed manual transmission. Like I said, I am creating a video with this very car on how to drive manual for the very first time. And speaking of going away, the Hyundai Accent is also leaving the market after the 2022 model year, which leaves the Kia Rio, which I made a model year changes video on, if you wanna check that one out here on the channel. Uh, that is the last subcompact that I think is an excellent value in terms of the features and options that it offers and the price point it's at. And speaking of price point, like I said, this one that we're sitting in is just over $17,000, including destination which again, you get a five-speed manual for that price point, but if you wanted the CVT, I think it would still be under or right at $18,000, including destination, which for what you get for the money, it's like, what do you expect 
with inflation, supply chain issues, overall price increases year over year. It's just unfortunate that these sub $20,000 cars are going away. And it's hard to imagine that they'll ever be replaced, especially with the cost of goods and raw materials anymore. So the new $18,000 car before is probably closer to the mid or low $20,000 range, which again, that's inflation and just the cost of doing business. And I was actually surprised at the amount of feedback and comments I got on my last Chevy Spark Active video. Thank you guys for commenting on that if you happen to find this video. I appreciate interacting with you guys. So if you happen to own a Chevy Spark or are getting a last 2022 model, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the vehicle. Like I said, I think a lot of people do have a positive opinion on the Spark, which is good to hear because I think it is a solid vehicle for the money, like I said, and it will be missed by a lot of people. And as far as this vehicle goes that I'm sitting in right now, this vehicle is actually still available for sale in inventory. So if you find this video, come across it and actually wanna purchase this exact vehicle, it is still available. I'll go ahead and put a clip in here as to where to find it. Make sure you tell them I sent you as far as this video goes and uh, hopefully you guys end up with it if you're interested in purchasing one. And once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This very well might be my last video on a brand new Chevy Spark. So once again, RIP, but as always, I hope to see you guys in the next one.